ਕਿੱਥੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੀ ਫੋਟੋ It is early November, a weekend full of fantastic sightings in this serene wilderness was almost behind us. A wilderness where the large Bengal tiger roams. A wilderness where rural Indian village life and nature exhibit an astonishing coexistence. But this time we are focused on something else, way more elusive, rare. This morning safari is our last chance to spot the ghost of the forest. When my dear friend Parak heard about my plans to come on a business trip to India, he proposed to spend some extra time on the weekend for a special quest. Very recently, a black panther has been spotted in Penge National Park. So we decided to jump on the opportunity and here we are. We are at Penge National Park and this particular gate is a Khawasa gate. It is famous for black panther, black leopard sighting and also tiger sighting. So if we are lucky, hopefully we will see black panther today. Woo! <laughs> With us is Parak's friend and tour organizer Abhay. Hi, I am Abhay Kewat from Pune, Maharashtra, India. I am a wildlife photographer and I am a wildlife tour operator. We are uh, going to searching uh, black panther. Wish me luck. With full excitement, we head off into the jungle. What a feeling to be back. The jungle is surprisingly empty. It almost feels like we haven't tuned into the jungle vibe yet. It seems you just can't rush into the jungle and expect to see something. Three hours later it gets dark and we realize that we haven't spotted anything. Our initial excitement has cooled down quite a bit and I realized that I haven't slept for more than 36 hours since I started my trip to India. It will be a short night. The morning safari starts at 6 a.m. At dawn we set off. The fresh morning air wakes me up immediately. Will we be able to find traces of the Black Panther today? Our high hopes are confirmed when suddenly we find fresh tracks. One black and one leopard. Really? But how can you say it's a black leopard? Yeah, because generally this pair is seen here, okay. living together. So the two two tracks mean they are black and one is normal.
Unfortunately, the tracks of the two leopards disappear into the jungle. It seems they wanted to avoid facing these wild dogs, which are a highly endangered species. They live and hunt in packs, feared by leopards and even the large Bengal tiger. How close we missed the two leopards becomes clear a minute later. Yeah, he was running away. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the one where we saw the pack marks before. Right? Yeah. Yes, and they they were watching the normal one here. Yeah. The wild dog, right? The black leopard was sitting on the tree. Yeah, unbelievable. And then he got down and ran away. So we basically were 10 minutes later. So. 10 minutes, we are just 10 minutes. A cell phone video from the other vehicle is exchanged with us. What a sight. We decide to shut down our engines and just listen. If you can hear the calls of the cock, it is a short call, like a hoot, whoop. And then you know the leopard is moving. Yes, in this area. Yeah. What is that? That is the call of a monkey. Leopard call? Leopard call. Leopard call. Look, she's coming. Look. As we learn later, this yellow leopard and the black leopard are siblings and they are often roaming the jungle together. We are speculating why she looks up all the time. Maybe both got separated earlier and she was expecting him in the tree? The black leopard or black panther is the melanistic color variant of the regular leopard, caused by a recessive gene which leads to excessive black pigments in the fur. So our chances should be intact to spot her black brother. Jungle breakfast. Mm. <laughs> Looks tasty. Sandwich, eggs, omelette, bread. Nice. In the jungle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the national park is surrounded by little villages, and the colorful life of rural India draws me in immediately. A growing number of a hundred million people are living in shared spaces with tigers in India. Despite expansion of infrastructure and agriculture, the tiger population is increasing in India. Those people are living in closest proximity with wild animals and their coexistence relies on so many trade-offs and sacrifices. The most severe one being occasional human casualties. Hopefully, they are considered equal partners in governmental conservation efforts and economic benefits of ecotourism. On the 
same token, they should also be able to fulfill their forest resource requirements like grazing their cattle or collecting firewood. I have utmost respect for how the rural people of India manage this peaceful and spiritual coexistence. Tomorrow we have a big chance of Black Panther. Black Panther. We missed today because of our mistake. <laughs> Just like that was fantastic today. Yeah. Like in the morning today, we saw yes, yeah. both pugmarks. No? Yes, both yeah. pugmarks. Of the yellow one and the, and black, the black one. one and Unbelievable. Then, unfortunately, we saw the wild dogs. The wild dogs. Because, because wild, dogs, wild dogs, they changed the, they changed the route. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's all, but it's all part of luck. And yeah, yeah. The, I think this is why, in my opinion, the wildlife and you know all these safaris are so exciting because yes. you are tracking them uh, mm -hmm. by by your knowledge like pug marks calls mm -hmm. and then you are just going their way and just trying to yes. see them yes mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no but we have to get black panther yes. not tiger tiger we yes. have seen enough yes, yes. Yeah. we have to get black panther we have two more chances so let's see tomorrow is our day yes right? yes. yes that's it ready to rock come on ready to rock ready to rock ready to rock, <laughs> <laughs> ready to rock As beautiful as it is, it seems the sightings have cooled off, unfortunately. No other vehicle has seen a trace today. There is some speculation of a potential kill, which would mean the Black Panther will not move in the next two to three days and just stay where he is. Hidden, deep inside the forest. Hence, we decide to leave it where it is and go to another gate of the Pench Forest in the afternoon, far away from the Black Panther's territory. I have mixed feelings. We are running out of time. We have to leave tomorrow. Only one morning safari left. Getting a chance to spot the melanistic or black leopard is it too much to ask for on a short weekend trip? In the whole of the Indian subcontinent, there are about eight to 10,000 leopards, but only six black panthers are currently known of. That would be less than one in a thousand. But there's just no way to be disappointed. The beauty of this fantastic landscape draws me in, and I enjoy the wonderful scenery that unwinds in front of us. This area of the Pench Forest is the territory of a large tigress, Baras. We try hard to trace her down, but no luck so far. As we are losing daylight at a very fast pace, we head for a little lake to enjoy the sunset. Okay. 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 
Without a warning, out of the blue, Barras appears behind us. Tigers cannot survive without forests, and similarly, forests perish without tigers. 80% of the global population of adult, free-ranging tigers is found in India. Therefore, the future of tigers as a species depends largely on India's conservation efforts. According to the latest national tiger assessment, the number of tigers has grown from around 1,400 in 2006 to around 3,000 in 2018. India's successful conservation model promotes tiger permeability of habitats, while simultaneously securing the livelihoods of local communities. Managing conflict promptly and providing economic incentives from tigers will foster coexistence in these multiple-use forests and hopefully ensure the long-term future of tigers in India. On our way back home, Abai receives a call that another vehicle spotted a black leopard today. That means our chances are intact. And we managed to rebook our last safari tomorrow morning to the Black Panthers' territory. The jungle feels different today. There is a spectacular atmosphere brooding over the many streams that cross our way. The jungle vibe has caught us and very soon we are completely immersed. Our guide just got a call that the Black Panther has been sighted on another location. Now we have to be fast before he disappears again. Again, we decide to listen. See how he is alert. His his tail is upside. Upside, yeah, yeah. yeah. That means he.
and with that, the ghost of the forest vanishes. For another three hours we try to catch a glimpse of him, but he is gone. This experience has touched me on a deep level. Not only did it take us more than 20 hours and seven safaris to finally locate this rare animal, it also made it obvious to me that we modern people have somehow fallen out of nature in a way. You cannot just quickly consume this. Nature has its own pace, its own vibe. It reveals itself, or not. And that depends entirely on you. The Indian people have created a role model of a biosphere where these wild animals can coexist with humans without being scared. Hopefully enabling close encounters with these beautiful apex predators for future generations to come.